All right, so this is my double hit albino clown female. She's huge. I'm just gonna go through and update you guys on how big she's gotten since the photos. I'm gonna go through this real quick, so bear with me. All right, second is my black pastel lavender. She's gotten big. Um, she's kind of shy, so. Yeah, she is. Whew. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna put you back. I know you're stressed. Alright. Next up. So, my whole back from last year. She's a pastel calico, 50% head for VPI. So, I'm giving you guys a quick update. Alright, who's next? Ah, yeah, you got me big. It's my my wife wanted a mystic potion, so got her a mystic potion. <laughs> She's shy. All right, who's next? Alright. One of my favorites. It's kind of yellowing out. This one is a pastel clown. He's a boy. I forgot to go over the genders. <laughs> yeah, but he's a boy. Ah, visual clown. Who is next? Ah, yes. Here we are. So this one's a girl. She's GHI. I showed you the, the lavender girl earlier. Well, she's not visual, she's head for it. So the lavender girl got two of the jeans. She only has one, so she's not golden yellow. But she's GHI, 100% head lab, 50% pied. Now I showed you that pastel clown. She is a clown or head for clown, but she also has pastel as well as blade and butter. So she's gonna make some crazy stuff with that male pastel I showed you, or the pastel clown I showed you. And the double head albino clown girl I showed you first. All right, now, this is my third 100% lab, 50% pie that I'm gonna put with the Lavender Girls. He's also a pastel inchy. I guess all my snakes are camera shy today. They're all balled up. <laughs> Ball pythons, right? But <laughs> he's that boy, he's gonna make great things. If I'm lucky, I'll get some dream sickles, and those are crazy. All right. Next, I have my wife's snake. He's a butter banana. And uh, he just shed, so he looks real nifty right now. Yeah. He has some babies hatching in about five days, so I can't wait for that. All right. <laughs> So this guy has some babies. He's the Mahogany Mystic. He's 50% head for pied, so I'm gonna try to prove him out. He's also camera shy, but he's one of my future plans. He's gonna make me some Sumas. Look him up if you don't know what they are. They're super, super uh, Mahogany's. You like dark stuff and you don't want kinks, that's the way to go. Now this is a girl that's gonna be breeding this winter. Really proud of her. She's a fire leopard, so she's real light. The leopard does the pattern. 100% head for VPI. I'm so excited. I'm pairing her with, uh, I'll bring them out together. This one has given me a bunch of babies as well. I'm pairing these two together. He's a bamboo. He's also a possible pastel because I'm getting a bunch of supers from his babies. 
Um, when I put them with another pastel, you get, you know, two mixed supers. So these two are going to be a really good project uh, this winter. The best thing I can hit is a visual VPI Exantic. That's bamboo, fire, and leopard. And those are going to be some amazing stuff. So let me put you back first. Like I said, this girl right here, I'm so glad I got her. She was really orange and black when I got her. I think the fire or the Exantic has some influence and it's uh, making her real creamy and light. All right. Now I'm gonna move on to the girls that laid the eggs this, this season. I'm gonna show you the girl, her babies were all duds, unfortunately. She's an inchy, pastel possible, orange dream. I'm kinda not believing the orange dream, but I'll still try and prove her out. I put her with that male pastel inchy. I was trying to get super inchies and super pastels, but her eggs were all duds and damn near had a meltdown about it, but I'll just try again next year. So she laid five eggs, five duds this season. All right, next is this super pastel from my friend. He let me borrow her to breed her out. She was bred to the banana butter. So I'm expecting those to hatch in five days. Can't wait. is my visual Exantic. I, she has eggs hatching in about three weeks with that bamboo 100% VPI. So those are gonna be wild. I can't wait to see how they look like. She laid six good, healthy eggs. I was so proud of her. First time mom right here. So it wasn't super fast though, and the inchy girl, they were both So next, I got my pastel calico. She got some, sh I gotta help her shed. She got some dried shed on her. She had about three clutches for me already. Um, she's pastel calico. Ooh, shed, ooh. I feel bad about showing her on tape, but I'm doing an update video. <laughs> um, yeah, pastel calico. She's been laying for me for three years. You've seen her babies. <clears throat> she had six, uh, seven eggs. One was a dud. All right. Uh, there we go. Now this is my bell, Mojave Lesser. You've seen her baby. She laid six eggs, but two of them went bad. And uh, this is... This is my girl. She laid uh, three duds the first year. The second year, she laid six. So I'm really happy. She'll do better next year. I don't know what to put her with right now, but uh, she was in the water bowl. She's all wet on me. Yeah, but that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. So if you watched the whole eight, nine minute video, congratulations. Dad, my Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Dude.